Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Um, video today is something that I've been uh, seeing online a little bit. I haven't delved too much into this. And I say that in the sense of actually like researching it and figuring out what's going on. But I've seen some comments and people talking about, well, the uh, it's so fucked up, you can't get any watches out of Rolex. And now it's gonna be even worse with their certified pre-owned program. So that being said, I don't believe that it's going to be as big an issue as everybody's making it. I don't even know why people think it's gonna be such a bad thing. Realistically, I think Rolex is really trying to get their hands around the situation of the secondhand market is what they're doing. And I'll take a step back and I'll say, I'll preface all this by saying, this is my opinion. I don't have 100% concrete evidence or facts or whatever you might call it that this is what they're doing, but I would say I have pretty sound judgment and most times I can read a situation pretty well. This is Rolex trying to get their hands around the secondhand market and going, why is it we're pretty profitable as it is? And the bean counters are saying, we could be making money off of this it's our product, why are we letting everybody else make all of the extra markup and all we do is charge retail through our dealers? To me, it makes 100% sense. They should be doing this certified pre-owned thing. They should be grabbing these watches. Look, they're talking about it's only watches that are older than three years and then they're gonna give them the two-year warranty. That's fine and dandy and everybody starts bitching about it here in the US it's not even relevant right now in the US. There's only six countries and I have it pulled up. Switzerland, Austria, Germany, France, Denmark, and the UK. If you're one of those places, let me know how it works out for you. I'm sure those watches are still gonna be more expensive than the retail watches that are brand new. And I bet every single person is gonna go into the Rolex and they're gonna to have to deal with this for a while until everything smooths back over and people are gonna say, well, why do you charge more for a certified pre-owned than a brand new watch? Cause it's the same thing that we've been dealing with for a while, guys. You can't get a new one right now. It's possible for you to get it in a short amount of time if you wait, but a lot of people don't wanna wait and people that buy a Rolex have money. So what the fuck does it matter? let these people do it through a Rolex authorized dealer. At least they're gonna say, hey, I got this watch through a Rolex dealer. It's a certified pre-owned watch. If anything, the way I see this, I don't condone people selling their watches on the secondhand market. I think it fucking ruins it for everybody. But as a consumer, I would love to be the first owner of a watch or have a certified pre-owned watch from Rolex to where when you walk into somebody or you're gonna sell it to somebody, you can say, here's all of my paperwork. I bought this watch straight from them. And if you come on hard times and you make the poor decision that you're gonna sell your watch, at least you're the person that's doing it and it's not one of these large outfits that's bending people over and giving them, you know, 50 to 60 cents on the dollar to have the watch and then they're making the rest of the money themselves. I get it, it's a business. That's how businesses work. I still think that it's bullshit that you buy a Rolex and a bunch of these people, they'll sell the Rolex for way less than what they can get for it just to sell it to fucking Bob's or whoever else. It's bullshit, but whatever, it happens. Maybe this might cut out some of those guys a little bit to where you buy a watch and you want to sell it to somebody, you can say, I bought the certified pre-owned and I paid X amount of dollars and I want to recoup my loss. I want to get dollar for dollar for what I paid for it and pass it on to somebody else. To me, that's a lot more acceptable. I don't really think that this is going to change the market as much as everybody's talking about. The market is what it is and people have consistently bought from these online places bought watches that are inspected by somebody and they look them over, hey, there's paperwork or not, but it's a real watch. That's what people are paying for. The fact that now it's a certified pre-owned watch. And I got Rolex squeaking in the back. It's not gonna really change much for anybody. 
it's going to be the same thing that we've been dealing with. I think it's going to become a different level, a different tier of buying a watch. Ultimately is what it'll boil down to. I don't think that it's going to bring down the prices. Rolex is not dumb enough to say, we're going to get certified pre-owned watches. We're going to check them over and we're going to sell them cheaper than everybody else. That's the stupidest shit I've ever heard. It's not going to happen. If anything, they might slightly be a little higher than the second hand market, but at the end of the day, you're buying from a Rolex. Somebody's gonna pay for that. So we shall see what happens with this Rolex certified pre-owned. I think it's a little new. We're just now trying to figure it out, but next year we're gonna figure it out. Something's gonna happen. The market's gonna go one of two ways and we'll find out. Time will tell. Till next time, guys. Comments, put them down in the comments, let me know. Click subscribe, like it, and I'll see you on the next one.